He could review the best games of his day. But no. Hey mate, can I borrow a quid? Hi there everyone, Emperor George here, and welcome to another episode of Games Under a Pound. Today we're going to be looking at this one, Kotodama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa. I have no idea what any of that means. Now I know from previous experiences with games like this, they can sometimes be a bit risque, shall we say? So I've checked this one, and apparently it's okay for 12+. plus. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this now. So Kotodama is a bejeweled candy crush kind of game with one of the most ridiculous intros I've ever heard. That's enough of that. The funny thing is, I was playing this game for a good hour and I only actually managed to play two games. This game instead is Candy Crush with a storyline. And that, honestly, is something I don't think that this world needs. The story is filled with bland characters. Every time you encounter one of these characters, you're treated to a cutscene like this. Oh, cool. Another person. The storyline is actually kind of creepy. It involves going into people's minds and then making them admit to things that they've done wrong. And that's even if you get that far into the story, because the first half an hour is typical anime kind of stuff. One of the main characters is some strange talking cat kind of thing. This is basically your guide into messing with people's minds. If you didn't think all of that was creepy enough, wait until you see the actual game. That's this game apart from its competitors, however, is just how creepy it is. The aim of this game is to peel back the layers of clothing on each of these girls by achieving a high enough score. Yep, that's right, it's Strip Candy Crush. <laughs> well, it's the same as all other games in this genre. You move jewels, which form rows, which earn points. If you can link these moves together, you earn more points. If you link enough of these together, you can earn a special power up which can remove more jewels in one go. I expect later on in the game for boss fights, the women are wearing loads of layers. This bizarre game is one of the strangest I think I have ever played. I genuinely do not know who the target audience for this game is. It feels like with the clothes removing side of the game, it wants teenagers to play it, but then it's Bejeweled and teenagers are too busy playing COD or FIFA to play a game like Bejeweled. There is so much boring storyline and cutscene involved that even if you are, strangely, a big fan of the gameplay, you'll have to sit through hours of Japanese school kid drama. Not my idea of fun. I'm going to give this game a 2 out of 10. The only reason it's not getting a 1 is because it was so cheap. If I'd have paid any more, I would not have been happy. I don't really understand what the point of this game is, as it seems to shoot itself in the foot by being so long. And also, it's creepy. Really, really creepy. So thanks for watching this episode of Games Under a Pound. As always, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.